when I look at German houses, they are also brick houses. Mm -hmm. uh, in Norway, we have, it's um, timber. Okay. So it's a difference. There is a difference, uh, not in quality, but how you build houses. Yeah. The Norwegian houses are very good. The, the German houses are built very solid, very good. But when we got in here, it's like this has exceeded our expectations when it comes to standard. I'm Marianne. I'm a Norwegian, living currently in Norway, planning to move to Portugal in September. Married to Andre, and in Norway, I work as a sales controller. I like to sing. I sing in choir. My name is Andre. I'm German and married to Marianne, and I do not sing. <laughs> you do not sing. No, only I, in the shower. Exactly, yeah. and that's enough. I mean, I, I work as a teacher, high school teacher. I teach um, English, German, and science. I love motorbiking. I love working out. You know, these are the things you know that keep me keep me going. And now we, yeah, we both uh, decided, you know, to take the next step, you know, in our life journey, and that is Portugal. Beautiful. Mm. And right now we're sitting. Tell us where we are right now. We are in our new house in uh, San Martino. Yes, San Martino de Porto, uh, Valparaiso. Welcome back or welcome to another episode of Portugal The Simple Life and it's another edition of My Home in Portugal. I'm joined by Andre and Marion. Thank you guys for being on the podcast. How are you today? Our pleasure. We are very nice. I mean, the weather is nice. Yeah. Yeah. The weather is lovely. We are on vacation. <laughs> we are on vacation. Yes. yes, still sorting out a few things here at the house. Exactly. Yes. And right now we're sitting, tell us where we are right now. We are in our new house in uh, San Martino. Yes, San Martino de Porto, uh, Valdeparijo. Yeah. So it's a little bit an uh, urban area, which we like. So it's very close proximity to the city, San Martino, but we are um, surrounded by forests, you know, eucalyptus trees. And it's beautiful. I've um, already in the morning, I went for a long walks, you know, enjoyed the smell, you know. And yeah, you've got some nice places to walk out mm -hmm. here. It, yes, it is really, um, very nice. And, and we can walk to the city. We walked to the yeah, city yesterday, we exactly. watched the uh, final. Talking about Portugal, how did that all start for you? Because you, you, you own a couple of different properties around Europe. How did sort of Portugal get on your radar and, and how did that all begin for you guys? Well, um, we, we met uh, uh, when we studied in the States. Mm. Okay. He's from Germany, I'm from Norway. And then uh, we, we met in Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Oh. Mm. And then um, we uh, had a long distance relationship, so we moved together. He was one year in Norway, and we moved to Germany. Mm -hmm. Lived there for more than 11 years, mm -hmm. and then we knew we were going to Norway. And now we've been in Norway for 12 years, and we always knew we would leave. He cannot bear the winter in Norway anymore. It's a long, cold, and, dreadful winter. Yeah, and I don't <laughs> want to go back to Germany. Uh, so we had to look for a new place. Okay. Mm. And it should be summer, no more winter, mm. not too hot in Europe. So we had a couple of countries yeah. on the radar. We had like the Italy, you know, the oh, northern yeah. parts of Italy. Because of bit, the food. Yeah, <laughs> of course. France. And I don't know why, but I never had Portugal on the radar. Mm. And, but, but when I investigate a little bit, I'm a guy who's like, you know, I, I, I need all the information, you know. Yeah. And on paper, it looked very interesting. The climate looked interesting. Yeah. Everybody said the people are nice, you know, and it's like, let's check it out. And we went here uh, on vacation. And that was when I actually contacted you. I kind of surprised her. I said, oh, at tomorrow I have an interview with a, a realtor. And she was like, oh, you know. <laughs> and you and rolled that, your eyes. Yes. yes you I didn't know. She, she did not know. Yeah. And, and I said, I can go along. But she said, no, I take along. And, and then we talked to you guys. And uh, it would, actually, it went pretty quick. I mean, we were shown a couple of properties. For, initially, we were interested in an apartment. Yeah. Downtown. Yeah, exactly. And then um, Bruno, um, who did a great job to, uh, you know, uh, in the whole last two years, he showed us some property and um, also in Salida Porto, in San Martino. And then he showed us this property, the first phase, you know, the first phase the of first of, project. Of, yeah. And we Very said, nice actually, point. that would be it. But then he said, uh, unfortunately, everything is sold. Yeah. And uh, we said, uh, yeah, why do you show us? This? Why would you <laughs> Just, show us? This? Yeah. Why do you why do you keep yeah. the carrot? <laughs> uh, and then uh, he said, but we will build here. And pretty much when we got home to Norway, we discussed it. We got the um, floor planning and everything. We signed within two or three weeks. Yeah, because there mm. were only three houses left. Only three left. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And then we we signed the contract um, very quickly because 
of course, we wanted one unit. Yeah, right? and, and we looked at it as a pretty good deal. Yeah. Mm. Checked out the, the, the location, the mm. house. Yeah. yeah. It's smaller than we used to, so it's a yeah. challenge, but yeah, we don't yeah. need more. Yeah. Mm. Was the intention at that stage already, this is going to be a place to move? Yes. Permanently. Yes. Okay, so you're Actually, really thinking with that The whole mindset. area, you know, I mean, also con considering Coimbra, you know, and Kaldash, you know. And, but of course, what ticked all the boxes here was the very close proximity to the, to the ocean. Mm -hmm. uh, the size, so Martinia is actually a small, small town, town yeah. uh, which we are also used to that in Norway. Mm -hmm. And we like that. Uh, but you have the close proximity to a bigger city. You know, Kandash is not far away. Exactly. Oh, close by. Yeah. And, yeah. and Lisbon is also just an hour away. Yeah. You know? yeah. All these things uh, were great. And, and uh, we have to say, I mean, we, when we got here, like not pe talking to uh, regular people on the street, you know, they were so nice. And they also uh, tried to speak English, even mm. if it was hard, you know. Yeah. But a lot of people spoke very well English. And for us, that made it very easy. And they, they were always willing to help. Mm. And of course, now we are since two years or close to two years, we're trying to, to learn the language, you know, it's a challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It's not an easy language. No, it is yeah, a challenge, yeah. but um, we want to speak the language at least to a certain extent that we can have a, uh, like a regular conversation. Some conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. When you arrived here, did it match what your expectations in terms of how it all looked? Actually, um, it, it exceeded our expectation. Okay. Um, I was actually, I was not aware of how many things Portugal has to offer. When it comes to infrastructure, the roads are great. You know, when it comes to, I mean, now I sound very German, but you know, uh, it's clean. I mean, it's, there's no trash laying around, you know, it's extremely, uh, when it comes to that standard, you know, it's, it's, it's really um, above other countries in my eyes. It's green. Uh, Yes, yeah. that's also something that surprised us because uh, two years prior, we were actually in the southern parts of Spain. Uh, and, then, um, and then we said, it's nice, but it's too hot and it's too dry. You know, it's true, you know. And here you have forests, everything is very lush. And the food, very good, very fresh, very simple. Were you nervous at all about, okay, we're going to go back to Norway and we're going to wait a year and a half or more? For sure. <laughs> For a house that we we don't actually we haven't seen it For we sure. haven't been able to touch the walls yeah. did that make I, you nervous and how did you kind of overcome that? I what, was what, not what? too nervous about the house because with the drawings and the digital pictures I could imagine it but what was like can we trust you yeah you know we're yeah. actually giving so, you a, a, a quite a lot of money yeah. and hope that it will turn out like yeah. we wanted to. And you yeah. cannot monitor the whole thing. No. You know, yeah. you cannot be, you know what, I'll drive to the, uh, to the construction site and just look at it, yeah. you know. But what we found in the process, you know, mm -hmm. the last one and a half years when the, the thing was built was um, we were very well taken care of. Um, we got, when one phase was done, you know, we got the pictures, you know. Looking for a home in Portugal? This break in Portugal, the Simple Life podcast is brought to you by Dylan and his team of certified realtors at Portugal Realty. Portugal Realty offers the exclusive Simple Life home buyer program. Visit PortugalRealty.com today and book your free call to find out more. Welcome to the Simple Life. We were here two times you know, and looked at, you know, uh, how the construction looks like. And we it, got pictures uh, yeah. every time, of course, yeah. when we got a bill, but also Denise, our project uh, manager, yeah. Yeah. she took pictures, she answered our mails if we had questions. So then we didn't, uh, yeah. we didn't have any. We had, a, we, we, uh, over a period of time, we got a better and better feeling, mm. you know. Yeah. It, uh, uh, Bruno was always available, you mm -hmm. know, on WhatsApp. I could always ask him, you know, uh, what's, what about that? Or we have a problem with that, you know? And he's like, I take care of it, you know? Yeah. And it's like, I, it, it was an extremely good service and the service reflects also the quality. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was, I mean, uh, not to brag too much, but that was actually, we felt very secure uh, so far. When I look at German houses, there are also brick houses. Mm -hmm. uh, in Norway, we have, it's um, timber. Okay. So it's a difference. Different, There's a difference, yeah. uh, not in quality, but how you build houses. Yeah. The Norwegian houses are very good. The, the German houses are built very solid, very good. 
But when we got in here, it's like this has exceeded our expectations when it comes to standard. And we are, I mean, again, it's nothing fancy, you know, but it's exactly what we want, you know. And it, we know, uh, we know people who build houses in Germany and in Norway, mm. and there was always something major. Mm. Mm. Okay. And here we have not found anything except from that little it's, it's, except for a little leak, leak yeah. that they fixed and right away. What I have to add is also when we got the offer, you know, we were also um, positively surprised how much was included in mm. the offer. The kitchen was in. Yeah. All the wardrobes were in, you know, the, the bathrooms were in, you know, and uh, the garage was included and it's like the pool, just, the pool the exactly. The was spots? In, yeah. The, uh, the small thing so like... very little that you had to, would have to have done after. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, we see now, we still have to buy some stuff, but, you know, this is, uh, it's actually the fun, you know. Uh, the fun it. part, yeah. But we, everything we need, we really, uh, the basics was already included. So we don't have to move that much, you know, when it comes to um, um, the process of moving. Yeah. I mean, for us, it is um, the next step in our life phase, you know, next adventure. And for us, of course, it also made it easier because um, it's not that easy to come up with the money up front, you know. Yeah. But I mean, now you can actually step by step say, you know what, here you have a certain amount of money, here you have a certain amount of money. You, you, yeah. We knew exactly what's coming because exactly. the, the payment plan was set. It was already set. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and everything was on paper. Exactly. Yes. No, there were no surprises. No. Exactly. Except, yeah. for, and then you know, if you add another flooring or you uh, you you put up the glass wall in the shower, okay, then you got from You've the knees that will cost that much, accept mm. it or not, and uh, always very uh, organized. Once you travel, you know, once you travel with the, like, the bicycle or you know the motorbike, it's a little bit like a feast for the eye. You know, you have you have nature, you have castles, you have old cities, you know. And all these things, as older you get, you are, even if we still like the beach, but as older you get, you are more drawn to these things. Yeah. You know? mm. oh, we like to, like we do in Norway too, we live close to the ocean and mm. to just to walk, but there you can do in, in San Martino too, it's wonderful. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah, let's talk about food. What surprised me most was like the not fancy food, but still extremely good. Mm. Yeah. Um, we, we both are, um, we were in Italy and the Italian food was great, um, but there was the same. You could go to any restaurant and it was simple food and it, I don't know what it was. Uh, you could order any pizza or whatever and it was simply better than you, what you're used to. And it's the same here. It's, um, you have very simple... Sometimes we, I, I remember we went to a, a restaurant, actually we invited our host family here and and they said, yeah, that's the building. And the building didn't look like anything from outside. And like, okay. We went inside, nothing special. Very we sat, old fashioned. We sat down on plastic chairs and it's like, really? You yeah. know? Yeah. And then the food came, it's like, okay, really? <laughs> it was really like that. So, and, and that's probably a little bit part of this simple life that the quality is more important than the look. Yeah. yeah. It's also, um, Bruno took us to a, a nice restaurant in San Martino. This is the same, you know, the chairs and the tables, nothing special, but the food's very good. The food is good. Mm. Yeah. I mean, when it comes to the Portuguese people we have dealt with here professionally, I think you get a better response here than I would probably, I mean, that it depends on the people, you yeah. know. But uh, in my home country, you know, where you wait sometimes for several weeks, you know, all these things made it easy. And we, it's, it's a little bit like a subjective feeling. It just feels it feels okay to be here, and it feels right, you know. And right now, for example, it's summer, and we both um, we, we don't like the like the extreme heat. Perfect. I mean, we have right now we have like twenty six degrees, you know. Yeah. At night you can sleep. I mean, we, we have not installed any AC or yeah. you know nothing. Uh, we have like sixteen seventy degrees at night, you know. Just perfect. For I, I woke up. Um, the other night at uh, four o'clock in the morning, so I just took on my shoes and went for a walk and watched the sun, uh, the, the sun uh, rise. You know, yeah, it was really nice, and um, so far it feels it feels good. Yeah. Well, I'm really delighted to to talk to you and to just to remember the the story and 
it was it started with a phone call and and here we are sitting in your house so congratulations it's uh, i'm very happy that you're that you're happy yes and uh the house and you see we already have bought furniture <laughs> i mean furniture. not many but we bought them in portuguese stores you know? okay very <laughs> yes. good yeah good good quality furniture very yeah. um thank you so much for being on the podcast it's been a pleasure our pleasure thank you yeah. and uh this is the part where you i'm gonna say you can call it and you guys say it's a wrap so i'm gonna let you call it <laughs> It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> so thank you once again to our guests and thank you to all of you for listening. Please subscribe, share with your friends, give us a thumbs up and please leave a comment or a review. We always love to hear from you. Don't forget Portugal The Simple Life also has a magazine so download it. It's for free. We also want to inform you that for the month of August there will be no podcast episodes. Please don't be sad. We're just taking a break for the first time in four years. So there will be no podcast for August, but we'll be back on the 2nd of September with brand new guests and more amazing episodes. And as we say in Portugal, te próxima, sejas bem-vindo, welcome to The Simple Life.